Hey everybody, it's Chris Jepson. I just wanted to talk to you real briefly about how I'm doing Solo Storm data comparisons between runs on my PC. And if you remember in my last video, I did a comparison between Brian Meyer and Justin Eccles in my car versus Brian and his car on the different effects of the front and rear sway bar setup for the Mustang and autocrossing. I just wanted to go ahead, this video is more for everybody's use in that I'm going to show you how you can use Solo Storm on your PC. Now the only downside to this is that Solo Storm will run in this environment but and do everything that Solo Storm is allowed to do with the exception of obviously re recording data, which why you would do that on a static PC I don't know, and it won't do video processing. And the reason for that is because the the Google software that they developed to test Android apps on Chrome does not have any video editing capability or any video playback capability. So with this in mind, we can view just the data side of things rather than try and edit video. So you're still going to have to edit videos on whatever Android device you want to use that has SolarStorm on it. So to begin, the, the app we're looking for that you'll need to download that will be in the Google Chrome application section is called Google Arc Welder. In fact, if you do a Google search for it, as you can see I've already done this, it'll bring up this first link, Getting Started with Arc. If you click on this, it'll tell you everything that you need to know about it, all the, everything that you'll need to know. The one thing that you will need is you will need the, the APK file from SoloStorm. You can actually download the latest APK file for SoloStorm from Petrel Data. You might have to email them to get the latest link, but as far as I know, they're more than willing to give it to people who are already registered SoloStorm users. So you need that APK. You'll need a PC or Mac or Linux that has either Google Chrome on it or is a Chromebook with Google Chrome because the Arc Welder app actually runs in the Google Chrome environment. If you go to this link right here, the number three, it says the Arc Welder app. If you click on it, it'll bring you to the Google Play Store for Google Chrome and it'll have a download link. Now, I've already downloaded the application so it's a little bit different. Anyway up here is where it'll be it'll say download it should be free and it's part of the developer tools for Chrome for the web uh, for Google Chrome the environment for Google Chrome. Once you've downloaded it you're gonna need to launch the application. To do that you're gonna go to your apps bar you're gonna see the thing that says Arc Welder it'll bring up this and this is when you'll need your APK file add your APK, add it, hit open, it'll bring up this, and then you're gonna hit test. All this other stuff is basically developer tool stuff. It's really irrelevant to what we're trying to do with data. If you're really all that curious about it, Google has pretty good documentation about how to use some of this other stuff. We don't need it. Because I've already installed my SolarStorm APK, I'm not going to, to hit test on this. You guys go ahead and hit test. I'm going to launch my app directly from the app bar because it puts it in there. So once you've, once you've loaded it up, you're going to get this screen with the typical warning about racing's not safe, you know, all this nonsense. You can skip right past that just by clicking. Uh, if you go to settings, you'll want to go to license and you'll want to go ahead and enter in your solo storm activation key and email address. I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again. When you come back you'll see it still says logger off. Once you've gone ahead and activated this product you'll be able to access the Google Cloud and this is the only way that I know of to get any of the logs from your Android device to your PC is through the cloud. Uh, if your cloud storage is full, you can either up, upgrade the, the service when that ever, whenever that happens, or you can just remove old logs. Again, because we can't 
use video, if you try and use video, the app will actually crash and that's kind of frustrating. So when you download the logs from the cloud, make sure you unclick the download with video options. You don't want either video because all it will do is cause the app to crash. In this case, it's got my day two spring nationals runs, mine and Justin's that I uploaded to the cloud on there. By the way, you can't actually access the, the full cloud services. You have full internet access through this, so you can actually go to Shared With Me, and it's going to go through the process of finding other people's. I think Sam Strano had his up there. Uh, Brian Meyer had his day two fastest run up there. Yep. So we'll go ahead and download Brian's as well. And you got two ways of going back, like hitting the back button. There's this arrow up in the upper left-hand corner. You can just hit Escape. And that should bring you back. Again, we don't want any of the videos, so uncheck these if they're checked. Just hit download. It'll go through its download process of downloading the logs. And now you have access to compare them. And you can compare the same number of logs that you could on your Android device. It's just you can't do it with video. Hit the back button again, and there it is. You have access to all of the widgets with the exception of the video one. You can bring the video one up, but it's just going to say no video recorded. But you can do the full analysis from this screen then on your PC, which if you're like me and don't have an Android tablet, this helps me do data analysis after an event. I try and do all my analysis on my phone, which is what I'm using to record everything at the event. I try and do that between runs if I if I have time. Local events I don't really have the time. But all the all the features are still there. You can still click on individual sections and go through section by section to see just where people are killing you. You've got all the you can still edit sections. You can still, you know, view the the dash G circle. You can also go to the charts and view all the charts. They're all there and they all work. And boy, this was an embarrassing day. <laughs> anyway, that's how you use SoloStorm on your PC. If you've got any questions about how to do the process, feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube or on Mustang 6 Gen or on the various other forums that I'm on. I'd be more than happy to try and walk you through the process a little bit better if this doesn't make any sense to you. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this with the data. I'm contemplating switching all of my long-winded forum posts to purely video. So if you can stand listening to me blabber on about how, how my runs went uh, in video form instead of in typed form, maybe that will work out a little bit better. Just let me know. Thanks for watching.